Hello folks, hello gangsters, hello Dragon Age junkies, welcome back. This is Inquisition, Elizabeth, Sarah, Cassandra, Iron Bull, here in the place I never remember its name, doing the quest What Pride Has Wrought. Uh, aiming to get to the temple and stop, what's her name? I, I keep <laughs> calling her Calypso. If I ever did that on camera, I'm sorry, I, I keep forgetting her name until I actually see her. Her name is not Calypso, I assure you. It's something else. Uh, Calpernia. Calpernia, yes. Uh, we are trying to stop Calpernia. That's the that's plan. In between we fight Red Templars. It's fun. I thought something was behind me. Sorry. Sorry, Morrigan. Sorry. Boo. Boop. Put it back. Alright. How far is this thing? Reach the final blockade. Okay, I've been running in the jungle for I don't know how long. It's been an episode already. Like, you know, in the previous episode we... All we did was run. Run and kill. Kill and run. I kept you busy with uh, so much talking for no apparent reason. Let's just hope we get to do something here. Not just run. Let me do something, game! Get me back into the action! That's nice. Who is hitting me? Where is the archer? Is there an archer? If there's an archer down there, please answer me and stop throwing arrows at me. Ow. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we... I'm stuck. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we... We are there. Finally. Now, okay. Let's replenish everything we can. Nice work, girls and boys. Let's go. This is narrow and laggy. Freaking choppy video all over. Stop it. Stop it. Are we ready? Can I walk? There. That must be the Temple of Mythal. I hear fighting ahead. Oh yes, the Temple of Mythol! I, I, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd be stuck in the jungle forever. Namelana Sobanalet. The wretch mocks you, master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Don't pretend you don't know, woman. I know you know, but you know what I know. Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. What did he just do?
cannot be. Across the bridge, now! Now that's some creepy shit. door can stop dragons. It's a magic door that can stop dragons. Mm. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a well of sorrows. Which is right? I am uncertain of what he referred to. Could they be the same? Could Alluvian translate into Well of Sorrows? No. It seems an Alluvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. So how many times do we need to kill him? It's a small number, right? Strike Corypheus down, and he will rise anew. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. Tis strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. The Temple of Mithal, constructed in an age when elves, not men, dominated this land. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment. After they proved their work. Elves built all this. I see. Finally, we find some loot. This place is huge and has nothing at all. I feel disappointed. Now what's this? Rebel God. Why would this be here? Something wrong? It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harrell. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fenharel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. I would like to see that. I'm afraid ancient elven heresy isn't exactly my specialty. Nor mine. It is baffling. Still, so long as the wolves' jaws cannot close around us, we may pass safely on. Does it open this door? Ah. It's sealed. Corypheus's lackeys managed to open it. Perhaps the altar holds a clue. Yes? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies, that is the real question. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct. Particularly when unexpected. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. 
So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mathal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mathal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mathal? In most stories, Mathal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mathal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mathal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Who can say? You've seen the Elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter. Even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be, why? Let's continue. As you wish. I see. Very interesting. Okay, now, after all this talk, I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I was wondering if there's something we can do near this, uh, the wolf statue. I don't see anything, though. Birds? There's nothing here. Oh, right. I am uh, I am looking for an altar. Which must be right below. Isn't that right? Let's check it out. Yeah. There's something down there. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this Elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? I only recognize a few phrases. <gasps> ah, a Belisan, meaning place of sorrow. That must be the well. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven, Shivenen. Is all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. Too much sadness in this place. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh, no. This is bad. Rituals are bad. I can't want this. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. Oh. Do not step any place you have stepped before. There can be no vacillation. This is where petitioners walked the path of their gods. Ah, uh, all right. So if I do this, and do that... Did we make it? Is the door open now? I think we did something. Now that was easy. For a... Puzzle or... I don't know what it was. We'll see. Let's go through the door if the game stops freezing on me. Really now? Screw you, vegetation. I used to love you, but not anymore. I'm not a nature person, you know. Golly. Ugh. 
Does this work better for you? There's no plants here. Don't let them pass. Venatori? Let me guess. Yeah. Venatori, alright. Dorian would be pleased if he was here right now. God damn it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm doing one damage? I'm playing on hard, but this is ridiculous. I miss my Night Enchanter. Take care of the big guy. I'm looking around. Door is blocked. You killed him, right? Thank you, guys. Oh, something's still there. He was hiding behind the tree trunk. Naughty, naughty. Come on, we might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. You forget that army fighting for us out there? Longer we play around, the more Inquisition soldiers die. There's a hole. Jump in. Performing these rituals may mean the difference between reaching the well before Corypheus's minions and not at all. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is... a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once. Things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so... romantic. <laughs> Trust me. Your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide, or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. I don't trust her. Yes? I want to discuss the well again. Oh, I see. An opportunity to use the well may not even arise. I understand this. All I meant to suggest is that if it does, I be the one to do so. I am willing to accept the consequences. You said you want to preserve old powers. To what end? What will you do with them? There is a struggle to control the world's future path. Can you not see it? History haunts us, Inquisitor. 
It seeks to resurface. Corypheus is but the first to arise. For all the evil that was, there is also good. I will fight for it. I must. How do you know the Well of Sorrows isn't a source of evil? After all, Corypheus seeks it. A fair point. We cannot know for certain. Yet. How can you not care what the consequences are? Even Corypheus seems to. I'm not a child grasping after a toy. I understand the risk of what I seek. Let us turn our attention to hunting your enemies, shall we? Discussion of the well can wait. Fine. But we're running out of time. And I better do this in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition, people. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you next time. You know I love you. Bye-bye.